All right, so I got the lure bodies heating up. I got my piles of different sizes that I cast the other day. I got powder paint in a little fluid bed. You can see how it's acting fluidy. That's just built by, uh, I think this is inch and a half PVC. Uh, I got a brown paper bag as the air filter. I capped off the bottom part of this fitting and I added a little pet cock to let the air flow because you can change sometimes it's too much. You can see the differences in these. This one has little volcanoes in it right now, but it's not spraying out. And then I just take one of my lure rods. This one's, I think, an 040, so it's the same diameter as the hole that's in the the lure body. And I just twist a little end in it just for a stop. But also something I can get a pair of pliers on if I had to. Then I keep a file handy just for, you can see the orange. So then what, what I do is I just rub that file back and forth on there. Or you can use an old knife. And just rub it right off. Sometimes that powder paint will want to stick. So, put your glove on. Grab one of our lure bodies. Drop it down. We'll do an orange one. Swirl it around. Nice even coat. It's just not hot enough. And you can tell it's not glossy. It has like a, a dull finish to it. So, take your heat gun. Heat it up. And that'll set the that'll set the paint. There you go. Now it's nice and glossy. I like to run it just away from that end and quench it in the water. The color changed. Now we just got a nice fluorescent orange lure body. We can pull off. You can handle it. Now the problem is if if you just go fish from here. These, this paint will chip. It's, it's just gonna. So, we'll have to do this a whole bunch of times. Get as many of these as we desire in each color. And then there's gonna be another step to it. Just like so. See, this is what I got the players out here for. Sometimes, if you don't let it get too far away from there, the little bit of paint sticks. You just pull it right off. Then just feel. You got a little bit of build up. Sometimes you can go a few, sometimes you can only go one. I don't know if you can tell that a color change, but you can really tell it in that orange. The orange color change. So the other way to do this, if you don't have a toaster oven, you can put one on, get yourself a heat gun, you heat it up. I like to move it around. It doesn't take very long. 
Let's move it around. You just kind of get a, gotta get a feel for what it's gonna do. Dip. What about perfect on heat? I like to, like I said, get it, get it so it starts to melt down a little bit. Quench it. That's almost just as fast. I like to have these other bigger ones in there. They take a little bit longer to heat up than that one. I mean, you can see the there's the size difference between the two. The small ones it hardly takes nothing when you do one of these little little guys. You just put them on. These are the ones that get tricky and leave a lot more paint on the shaft. You can start to see the paint starts getting all over. And that's when those jigs want to, or the, not jigs, I keep calling them jigs, but those lure bodies just want to get stuck so much. Now you could, if you want to be tricky, you could do a two-tone. It's possible. Do a two-tone. Let's get one of these on here. Just give it a little bit extra. So you want to go lighter color first. Get a nice coat on there. And then figure out where you want it, how far you want it to come up. Uh, you're gonna have some bleeding. Get it to drop away from the end so we don't chip it. And that'll work. As good as done. There we go. We got ourselves a two tone. If you don't do the, we did chip it just a little bit right there. This end came out nice. That chipping is from, it's from our wire, and it's and it's it's that build up that I've been talking about so much here. Just gotta. Keep up with it. And you're going to have more of that if you try doing the doubles than you would double colors. or you, I suppose you could probably do a triple. Should we fluff this one up? Let's see? We'll get a cap on there. Give it a quick shake. I like to carry these caps. See? Two inch. So this is two inch, I guess. Well, you could do inch and a half or two inch. You gotta get if you don't have that pump going on there. You gotta give it a good shake, fluff it up. Fluid bed just puts such a much more even coat on there. All right, let's see here. Leather glove. Tricky part. Green. Well, we didn't get our green so even. It's not as fluffy. There you go. We did it. I don't know how it looks. Kind of funny. Oh, see, this is a bad mistake right here. 
you don't want your wire and your paint to be all encapsulated like that. Otherwise, when you go to do it, it's just going to all break. So, heat, heat, heat. Starting. Sometimes you gotta do a little tap. Ooh. There we go. Now we got it. There we go. There's a triple color. Kind of funny looking to me, but maybe that's what you're looking for. So, if I want to change colors, it's as easy as pulling this off. Moving this yellow one out of the way. Let's make some green. There it goes, it's starting to bubble. And different colors have different weights to them. Uh, white is real hard to get to float good. <laughs> 